Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you how to do your crypto taxes with Coinly, um, integrating the Newton Exchange named after Isaac Newton. I'm not really sure. Maybe that's something you guys can let me know in the comments. Uh, but the breakdown of this video is pretty straightforward. I will give you a little bit more background about the wallet itself. Then I will jump into the integration part of the video, how to actually integrate this wallet into Coinly. And then lastly, I will show you how to output the necessary tax documentation, this being a Canadian cryptocurrency wallet. So it might be a lot of, you know, Canadian information. And then lastly, I will show you where you can get some resources and anything I talk about, uh, links will be included in the description. So let's jump into it. Alrighty, as mentioned earlier, Newton Exchange is a Canadian cryptocurrency exchange founded in 2018 and is based out of Toronto, Canada. I will provide resources for any Canadians looking for more crypto tax information, you know, guides and whatnot down below. So this exchange has no withdrawal fees currently, unlike some other uh, Canadian exchanges. So that's a pretty big plus for it. In terms of security, Newton uses Balance, which, which is a third party digital asset custodian that holds and secures Newton customers' cryptocurrency assets. So it's always good to look into how secure the wallet you're dealing with is. And it seems like this one um, in terms of security is pretty good. All right, so that's enough about the wallet itself. Let's jump into the integration. Um, going into Coinly, um, as we always do, we log in, we go into the wallet section. As you can see, I already have my standard two wallets here. Um, we're gonna add a wallet and then we're gonna type in Newton and this one is gonna pop up. So now the first thing you're gonna see is set up AutoSync. This is currently in beta. And although you can use this, you require beta access, which is something that I was not able to get and I don't think the average user will be. So we're gonna ignore this part and we're gonna jump straight into the CSV file, which is really simple as well. So you know, don't worry about how to find that, I'll show you right now. So clicking on import from file, going into our Newton wallet, here I'm signed in. As you can see, I've made a bunch of transfers, trades, buys, sells. Here are some of the cryptocurrencies that I'm dealing with. But jumping into the top right corner, we click setting, we click on tax reports, and believe it or not, we have a Coinly version, which you're going to click here and export. I've already done that, so um, I get a file here that says Coinly history and then my name, and then I'll show you exactly what this looks like. You know, it has the date of uh, trades, uh, received quantity, currency, send quantity, and all that good stuff. So going back into Coinly, we're gonna take that file and just going, we're just gonna drag and drop it here and click import. Now this might take a few seconds while it imports these transactions. I don't have many transactions, so it won't take too long. If you have you know, a significant amount, it might take a bit longer. But going back into our wallet, we see now those six transactions and those cryptocurrencies that I talked about earlier. Okay, now we jump into what I think is the best part of Coinly, how easily you can get the necessary tax report documentation. So we go into tax reports here. You can select which year you're working with and you get a nice summary of, you know, your capital gains, your income, your costs and expenses, um, the type of transactions you've made. You can use this as a fantastic platform to, you know, keep track of, you know, am I going to have really high taxes here from all the gains I've made or, or stuff like that? Or, you know, can I use the capital losses I have uh, to help me out with my taxes. Um, once you're done looking at that section, you're going to go to the bottom. And if you're a Canadian, you are going to get the complete tax report and you know, you're going to download this report, select the plan, obviously that best fits, um, your needs. And as always, we have reports for other, um, parts of the world. So for the U S we have the IRS schedule D form 8949. Uh, you can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. For the UK, we have the HMRC capital gain summary. Um, we have reports for Sweden, Norway, France. And then lastly, we have uh, for Canada, Australia, Germany, the complete tax report. And if you're interested, you can also get this tax report and give it to your accountant, let's say, or you can invite the accountant to the Coinly platform. We are working on more content for accountants and, and how to set up your accountancy firm on Coinly. So stay tuned for that. And then lastly, depending on where you are in the world, you might be able to get a tax deduction on this report since it is helping you do your taxes. Some places have, um, you know, exemptions for that kind of stuff. So look into which country you're filing from and if that applies to you. So we are reaching the end of this video. And as always, I will uh, leave some resources uh, if you need. So we have the Coinly Help Center where we have countless articles on, you know, 
tax education on learning how to set up your Coinly account and you know everything in between. So if you're interested, link down below. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as members of the Coinly team and ask them questions. Um, and then lastly, we have a contact page where you can um, send us an email or you know send us a message and we'd be happy to get back to you. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.